afternoon, friends. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what's in my daughter's Easter basket. She just turned three, and I started shopping for her Easter basket right after Easter last year. So some of the stuff that you'll see are Easter clearance items from last year. This video is in collaboration with my friend Gina Schweppe, and she has four kids, so she has a lot of ideas to share when it comes to Easter baskets, and I will link her video in my description box below as well as in a pinned comment. Before I start talking about what is in the Easter basket, I want to talk about the basket itself. I just took a basket from around my house and it was holding hats and scarves and I just put them somewhere else for now. And it's a really nice big basket and I don't think she's going to care about the basket. So I didn't feel like buying one and the ones that we've had in previous years are too small. So I thought that this was a good idea to just use one that I had and I attached this little unicorn decoration on one handle. I got this um, at Walmart during their Easter clearance a couple of years ago for 90% off. So I'm sure it was 25 cents or less. I also got this little frog that I attached to the other handle um, from Walgreens Easter clearance last year. And I'm pretty sure it was a 90% off clearance. So this was probably, you know, just a quarter or less as well. I also, because I put all this stuff together in the closet, I just add to it as the year goes by. Um, I also save the Easter grass and I also save eggs. So I'm just gonna reuse the ones that I have. If you're new to my channel, you might not realize this, but I am a big couponer and clearance hunter. So a lot of this stuff will be clearance finds or stuff that I got couponing. The first few things that I'm gonna show you all go together and I did find them on clearance at Walmart, but I found them each at different times. So it's cool how they all work together. My daughter has seen this movie and she enjoyed it. It is, I think her name is Raya and the last dragon. So it's this cute little stuffed animal or stuffed person, I guess. And she also in the movie has this little creature that's her friend. And this was on clearance for 250. The clearance tag came off on this, but I'm sure it was about that much. And then also I got the dragon and this was $2. So that makes a nice little set that they all go together and she'll enjoy that. She loves little animals like that. Another stuffed animal that I got her is this cute little frog. And I can tell from the tag that this came from Walmart. And I'm sure that I got this on 90% clearance last year. It was 98 cents originally, so this was nine cents. It's just a cute little thing to stick in her basket. I also just today stopped by Walmart and found this Gabby's Dollhouse little play set marked down to $8. It was originally $14.97. That's not like an amazing deal, but she loves Gabby. Like this is one of her favorite shows. So this would make a great gift for her. Another toy that I got her on clearance is this Barbie color reveal. She got a couple of these for her birthday and she absolutely loved them. What it is is a little Barbie that you put in water and it changes colors. And it also comes with some surprises. This one was marked down to $5 from $11.88. And there's also actually a 75 cent rebate on Ibotta for this. So that makes it just $4.25 after rebate. And this is something that I know she'll have a lot of fun with. I went to a library book sale last weekend. It's when the library sells books that have been donated to them or books that are in their catalog that are old or they have multiple copies of and don't need. It's just a way to raise money for the library and get really cheap books. And I found this the Little Lamb. It's a story about Jesus being the Good Shepherd, and I thought that was perfect for Easter. I also picked up a couple of books at Walmart. This one is Easter Blessings with the Bernstein Bears, so I thought that was cute. And She has some more uh, Bernstein Bear books as well. 
And then also happy Easter corduroy. She loves corduroy the bear. So I thought this was a cute book to add into her basket. I also picked up this little color reveal coloring set at Walmart for only a dollar. It has a special marker and the marker only will write on this paper so you don't have to worry about messes or getting markers all over the place. She got uh, a mini one of these for her birthday and she loves it. We took it to a restaurant last weekend and she was really happy to sit there and color it while we were there. So I think she'll enjoy this. I also picked up this sun catcher that she can paint over at Walgreens. I think it was $3.99 and I just used some Walgreens cash to pay. She loves arts and crafts, so I think that she'll have a fun time with this. When I was going through my bag of stuff that I put away for Easter, I found this and it's really cool. It's paper that you scratch with this little wooden instrument to reveal gold underneath so you can draw pictures with it and it comes with seven sheets and i'm sure that i got this on 90 percent clearance or some other clearance deal throughout the year last year but i think that she will have a blast making pictures with this and that bag i also found these cute peep stickers and these are from Walmart and I'm sure it was 90% clearance. It was originally 98 cents, so I got this for nine cents and she loves stickers. If you guys have toddlers or little kids, you know that stickers are a big deal. And I also found these stickers for 98 cents on clearance last year and they have all sorts of cute little things on them. Bonnie's, a chick, uh, a llama, Lots of cute stuff. She'll like that. So that was just nine cents on clearance last year. Another thing that I found on clearance are these cute little bath fizzies. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of them. I got these for, I think, about 23 cents each. So this one has fizzy tub colors, comes with different colors to turn the bath water. And then this one is bath crackles. So it's like pop rocks, but for your bathtub. And then two more of those. A couple more things that I've picked up on clearance throughout the year and saved are these cute little animal scrunchies. I got these for $1.50 each on clearance and she will love these. And if you have an older kid, they can also take this part apart and attach it to their backpack. Another thing that I picked up for her are these cute little sunglasses and these were $6.88 at Walmart and these she'll definitely be using during the summer. Okay, on to the candy. I had a buy one get one free tech CRT from CVS and during that time they were doing a buy one get one for a dollar on Hershey's Kisses. So I actually used that buy one get one free text CRT along with this and got this super cheap. So I'm going to put these little kisses in some eggs and put them in her basket. I also got her this big lollipop. It comes with 10 small lollipops inside. I think this will be super cute poking out of the top of her basket. And this was just $3 at Walmart. The next few things I got at Meyer, I got her one of these good to grow apple juices. These are kind of expensive for what they are. And I normally don't get them for her, but I know that she always wants one. And this one has Minnie Mouse on it and she loves Minnie Mouse. So this is just a nice little treat for her. I also, of course, got her a chocolate bunny. I got her a lint bunny because I think lint makes pretty good chocolate. I hate cheap chocolate, like the Palmer chocolate is gross. So I wanted to get her a good chocolate bunny. She might not finish it, I might get to have an ear or two. I also got her these cute little lint bunnies from Meyer as well. I also got her some M&Ms, just the little mini M&Ms. And also at Meyer, I got her these lollipop rings. She loves ring pops and these are cute. She doesn't really like peeps, but she likes suckers. So I think that she'll like these. And I only got one Easter thing at the Dollar Tree. I got these little 
carrot powder candies. So it's basically like a pixie stick, but in the shape of a carrot. And I just thought it was super cute. So now I'll put this all together and show you what it looks like assembled. And here's the finished basket with everything all put together. It's a little bit overboard, which is why I'm glad that I had this larger basket on hand to use. I'm really looking forward to her seeing this basket because I know she's going to be so excited. We went to the mall yesterday for her to meet the Easter Bunny and it was like she was meeting a celebrity. She was so starstruck. She got several different pictures with him and in this one, she's feeding him a carrot. As a bonus, I'm gonna show you what's in my husband's Easter basket. Every year, he forgets that I do this for him and is totally surprised. So the basket that I'm gonna use this year is one that I actually got on Easter clearance several years ago. I make a lot of gift baskets for my family and friends out of my couponing stockpile, so I love to pick them up cheap. And this one I have used for my stepdad's Father's Day present, like several years in a row and he just keeps giving it back to me and I keep reusing it over and over again. And I already have the grass inside from who knows how old this grass is. The first thing that I'm gonna put in my husband's Easter basket is some beef jerky. He likes the Jack Link's original kind. The next thing that I'm gonna put in his basket is this bag of pistachios. And these are already shelled pistachios. We both love pistachios, but I don't buy them very often because of how expensive they are. This little bag I think was $5.99 at Meijer. The next thing that I'm gonna put in this basket is this Dunkin' Ice Coffee. He loves iced coffee. And this actually has an Ibotta rebate right now going on at Walmart for 50 cents. So if you wanna pick this up, you can get the rebate as well. And I believe that this is 288 before the rebate. I also picked him up this super coffee over at Meijer just so he could have two different types of coffee drinks. I'm also including two Cliff Bars. This one is a chocolate brownie, and then this one is a peanut butter one. And since he doesn't want to eat candy, like, because it's bad for you, <laughs> I am getting him some of these Sunkiss yogurt covered raisins. They taste like chocolate. They're chocolate yogurt though. So it's kind of a healthy treat, and I know that he loves these. In the past, I have saved up my speedy rewards points, which are points that you get from our local gas station to buy him gift cards, like uh, Steam gift cards for online gaming. Um, and I need to check my speedy rewards account to see how many points that I have to see if I can redeem them for a gift card. And if I do have enough points, I'll probably get him like a Taco Bell gift card or something like that or a steam gift card, like I said, that I've done in the past. Here's my husband's finished Easter basket. I was able to fit everything in and I think he's gonna get a real kick out of it. So that is what I put in my daughter and my husband's Easter baskets. Don't forget to watch Gina's video. Like I said, she has four kids, so she will give you lots of Easter basket ideas. I wanna know in the comments below at what age you guys stopped giving your kids Easter baskets and at what age your parents stopped giving you Easter baskets. Because my mom stopped giving me one when I was 12, but my aunt kept giving them to my cousins when they were in college, and I was a little bit jealous of that. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching and happy Easter. Check out my Instagram and TikTok. They are both at Amy Way to Save.